Hey, this is Rocket Rolls, and I am coming at you from the good old Route 1, College Park, Maryland, USA. And I'm here to talk to you about the Bike Life Book Club Top 5. Now let me see, can I get this right? I'm going to do this in descending order. Ah, excuse me, ascending order. Um, based on the sequence in which I think you should read these books. I didn't bring my notes with me. Um, I have compiled the list. I've got the book stacked sitting on the desk back at the TV station. Y'all know the TV station is the basement, right? Okay. So, um, let me see if I can do this off the top of my head. The first book is easy. The first book is the Motorcycle Safety Foundation Basic Rider Course. Book number one. This book is actually, you know, a book, an excellent book number one. And if you've taken the MSF class, you, you actually have a copy of the book already. Um, it is available online. If you go and do a good little Google search, you can find a PDF of it. <clears throat> All kinds of excellent information in there. How to ride a bike, the basic controls, um, riding strategy, um, risk challenges to riding, um, information about riding gear, information about different styles of bikes, um, you name it, it's in there. And I will say this, one of the things that I found a little surprising, I don't know why, but because um, usually you know how these things work. Um, the book has actually got multiple authors, of course, and multiple people contributing, you know, photography to the book. But it actually has been funded by the motorcycle industry. So, you know, the Japanese big four, Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Suzuki, um, the European bikes, bike builders, BMW, KTM, I believe Ducati's in there as well, um, Triumph, um, Harley-Davidson. These companies actually fund the Motorcycle Safety Foundation. They fund the materials and the authorship of the book. I mean, it's great for their business. If you think about it, it's increasing riders and it's making sure riders are riding more safely, which ensures that riders will live to buy more bikes. But the MSF Basic Rider Course Handbook, I would say is the number one book that every beginning writer should read in the U.S. of A. And there are some equivalent books over in Europe. I may talk about those on another video. But for right now, number one, MSF BRC. Now, this one is definitely a controversial choice because I know a lot of folks, they like to recommend another book that is going to be on my list. It's just not going to be number two. My number two recommendation, the, the book is called Proficient Motorcycling. And I hope I get the author's name correct. I know I've heard it before, but sometimes uh, the author's name is David Huff. H-O-U-G-H. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. I mean, the spelling isn't more important at this point, so you can at least do a Google or go do a search. If you'd like to buy this book, any of these books, um, the links are down below. You can definitely um, link through my channel to Amazon, and we've got some affiliate links down there to allow you to purchase any of these books. Proficient Motorcycling is basically the MSF book on steroids. The author has hundreds of thousands of miles of experience, as did the authors of the MSF books, I'm sure. But he actually shares more personal anecdotes. He does go and do a little more research, accessing some other sources beyond um, where the MSF goes. Because he's a private author and, and not a foundation um, funded by the motorcycle industry, it's a little bit more of an objective perspective, I believe, when you um, read Proficient Motorcycling. And one of the things that I really love about Proficient Motorcycling is that it is a book geared towards street riding. 
and I get it you know you know if you live out west and you got access to dirt and you started out on a dirt bike and you know that's all wonderful you're still gonna need to learn how to run it right on the street and if you started out on the street you really need to read a book like proficient motorcycling because it does dive deep into um, the dangers the risk and just how to ride safely on the road um, number three book number three is Keith Code's Twist of the Wrist 2 I'm going to recommend you go ahead and jump in there and just start reading Twist of the Wrist 2 um, it's more of an enhancement on Twist of the Wrist 1 um, you could you know read both but eh, uh, I, I would say go with Twist of the Wrist 2 and you know you have to rank this book number three not necessarily because it's the best book out there but you gotta rank it number three because it is so widely um, popular in the motorcycling community especially among sports bike riders whether you're a canyon carver a track junkie um, just a city squid sport bike riders people who love to ride the twisties they love twist to the wrist and it is a very good book to help you with your cornering to really get you smooth on the throttle and to um, get you very confident and smart in terms of how you ride a motorcycle especially in the cornering situations so book number three Twist of the wrist. Book number four. Book number four on my list of top books for beginner riders. Now, I'm going to be honest, book number four is actually my favorite book, and that is Total Control by Lee Parks. I think Lee Parks did an excellent job with Total Control. It really simplifies and breaks down the different categories of learning. Um, excellent, you know, photography in the book. It's relatively modern. I think it does a little bit of a better job in just teaching some of the techniques um, to riding. Um, definitely, I, I like his sections on braking and I like his sections on um, cornering, but I'm not going to go too deep into it because there will be a whole full-blown book review on Total Control. And finally, book number five on my list of top books for beginning bike riders. Now, book number five is kind of representative because it could have very easily been any one of a different dozen books. But my personal favorite is Motorcycle and Maintenance by Mark Zimmerman. Motorcycle Maintenance, um, I think it's just the right thickness. It's generic for all kinds of motorcycles and it's really good for learning the basics of uh, motorcycle maintenance. <clears throat> very well put together he does have a good section in the front that speaks to um, tools and how to set up a garage if you have that luxury of having a garage um, motorcycle maintenance by Mark Zimmerman book number be a bonus now this bonus book it's it's not a thick one so for those of you who really aren't that crazy about reading and you wanted to get it quick and over with um, just give me the down and dirty. There is a guy known as Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie's name is Greg Widmar. Fast Eddie is a professional trainer. And I'm not even going to say any more than that. You can dig up his background and figure out where he learned how to train. But um, he has a book. Ew, crap. Do I remember the name? I found my cheat sheet. Hold on. Let's cheat. Road to Mastery. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. My bad, Fast Eddie. Road to Mastery is the bonus book. And it's actually not his only book, which is part of the reason why I was a little lost on this. But um, he definitely gives you the key important things you need to get started in the motorcycle bike life world. And that's why I've chosen Road to Mastery as my 
bonus book in my top five. And so that is the conclusion of my top five books for beginners in the first edition of our Bike Life book series. I do want to thank you for taking the time to go through this list with me. I do hope you decide to follow on and join us as we take the time to dip into and review each of these books in greater detail. Um, I will be filming a great deal of the, at least the audio of that from within the station. However, I think we're gonna cut some clips in and do a little voiceover so that we can still show some riding, some good city riding um, as we discuss these books. I want to thank you again for you know your support of the channel i'm going to ask you to subscribe if you have not subscribed please click the subscribe button um, don't feel shy about clicking the little bell um, that will give you the alerts as we upload we are going to move to a more consistent upload upload schedule we're thinking about doing about two uploads per week um, having said that this is rocket rolls over and out what the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You gotta be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap. I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first.